thank you for watching. I'm John Rasmus. In this video, we're going to go back, back in time, to the time that I went to 555 Beach Street, San Francisco, California. Let's check it out. As a matter of fact, I put the wrong address in last time, and uh, it doesn't matter because apparently there's a couple addresses attached to the same building. I keep clicking it, nothing's happening. What's going on? What? My internet went out <laughs> at the exact same time. <laughs> I'm trying to make this video. What a what are the what are the chances of that? I mean, jeez Louise. <sighs> to this day, Tommy Wiseau made millions upon 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 millions of dollars. I just saw the disaster artist in theaters, all right? Yes, we are back in business, all right. Back in business. Come on, reload, dude. Ah, I had the internet for five seconds. I honestly do not know what's going on. With the internet, come on, maps, let's do it, come on. I assure you, the internet is up now, so everything's all good. I don't like editing, so you know what? I'm going to keep this in. Dang it. It says connected, but that's a lie. That is a lie. I mean, I could try connecting with my neighbors, but the strength is poor, and I don't know their password. You know what I mean? It's gonna say, uh, it's not, you know, it's, it's not gonna let me in. It's not gonna let me through. TW. That's what he calls his underwear. I'm wearing my TWs. <laughs> yes. So if you're wearing your TWs, let's go on an exploration adventure. Here we go. All right. First of all, we have the Hollywood Cafe. All right. I guarantee Tommy Wiseau walked down the street. All right, and went to the Hollywood Cafe, and he's like, you know what? I'm going to get the Hollywood special. No Mickey Mouse stuff. <laughs> Just kidding. But, uh, okay, let's pop on down. Let's grab that little guy and take a look at something I discovered. We're talking, this is something that most people would have missed, all right? And I'm not talking about the stuff in the window. I'm just looking at this for the first time. I never never noticed this stuff in the window. But I know there's a trash can right there. Okay, what else we got in here? Secrets. But no, not talking about these window secrets. What I'm talking about is this person right here pointing at the sign. They're like, whoa, check that out look exactly what she's pointing at I assume it's a she he or she is pointing at you guessed it the the room poster that is exactly what this group of people are looking at I thought it was interesting I thought it was pretty funny but look at the guy he's like eh I don't know if I want to take a picture Eh, I'm good but then again these people are really looking at the Google mobile if you've ever seen a Google mobile, and I've seen a Google mobile, but you can see the people looking at the Tommy Wiseau poster, the room poster. Very cool, but let me show you something even cooler, all right? We know for a fact Tommy owns this place, okay? He exits from the secret, this secret exit right here, okay? And he's walking down the street, all right? And he's just walking. He doesn't have to walk far, okay? There's one thing in the room that I thought was a little odd, all right? There's only one singular detail that I thought was a little bit odd about the room. And I'll tell you what that one thing was, all right? One of the main characters' names is Denny, all right? Denny, okay? If you want to know where Tommy got the idea for the name for the character Denny in the room, look no further. He ate at that Denny's more than a few times. He 
probably lived in that building for a period of time while working his butt off, selling jeans and jackets, possibly to the North Koreans, according to what someone said, and that gives me a flashback on what the book said, and they said it was in the book by Greg Sestero, the disaster artist, does allude to a potential joke that Kim Jong ill at the time, I guess it was Kim Jong ill at the time, perhaps made a deal with Tommy. We want some real time American jackets, no Mickey Mouse stuff. We want some American jackets. And lucky for Kim Jong Il, all right, there was someone in America that could supply him with Street Fashions USA brand jackets. It doesn't get any more American than that. I mean, from Kim Jong Il's perspective, that probably is the most American sounding brand name in the world. But to an American, it sounds a little off a little bit. It still sounds pretty cool, I guess. You know, I would I would wear it. I think Tommy should make more Street Fashions USA brand stuff that says Street Fashions USA. But Tommy ate at Denny's, all right? Let's take a look at the map. Just so I can show you real quick. Tommy owns this building. There's the Denny's. Tommy owns this building. Walk, 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 walk. Bam, Denny's. One of the main characters in the room's name is Denny. Tommy is eating at Denny's, okay? He's eating there, eating some pumpkin pie, all right? And he's like, hmm, this good pumpkin pie. Okay, I can't do an impression. I'm not James Franco. I'm not even going to try. It's open 24 hours a day. Whoa. So if Tommy's jet lagged from flying around the world, making millions and millions of dollars selling bird toys jeans and jackets then you know that a 24-hour restaurant is the place to be and tommy is like you know what i i, I want to write a movie script i'm going to be a big movie star i need names i need character names and you know in the disaster artist the cast and crew were kind of wondering are these characters from tommy's real life is he adapting what he experienced? Did someone betray him? Did Lisa tear him apart? Was there a Lisa in his life? That's possible. But perhaps he changed the names and he used Denny. So Denny is the number one thing that was a little off from my perspective. Okay, let me give you my perspective. The name Danny is very common. The name Denny, not so common, all right? Danny, common. Denny, not common, all right? Danny, I've probably known a Danny in my life. Denny, I've never met a single Denny in my life, okay? Danny, there's a lot of famous Dannys out there. Denny, not so many. Denny is the number one off thing in the room from my perspective and i'll tell you why because not only does he jump in bed with tommy and lisa and you know he wants to hang out and uh tommy's like three's a crowd or something like that but uh no it's the name denny versus danny is the reason all right let me just give you an example okay Danny, all right? Danny, all right? Danny DeVito, all right? Danny Glover, yes, Danny Glover. I knew that. Um, we got uh, Danny Bonaducci. <laughs> Danny Bonaducci. Okay, we got... Uh, we got baby Danny DeVito. All right, all right. And uh, you keep scrolling, you keep seeing famous names, all right? We're talking Danny DeVito, Danny Glover, Danny Bonaducci, all right? Just famous Danny after famous Danny after Danny's a common name, all right? Danny Trejo. I didn't know that was his real name. Is that his name? Danny Trejo. He's a good actor. But there's a lot of Dannys out there, all right? Danny, Danny, Danny. Danny's a common name. Trust me. It's long for Dan. Now check this out. 
Denny. All right. What are you going to get with Denny? You're going to get fake people that don't exist and the restaurant. All right. That's what you're going to get. All right. The restaurant, paintings of people that don't exist, and some type of clip art. Because the name Denny is not common, all right? It's all about join the family to receive 20% off, and it's less about a real person and more about a restaurant, all right? We're talking the last human being that was named Denny was some guy named Anthony Denny, and that was his last name. It wasn't his first name, okay? And he died January 1501, okay? And uh, he was a knight. He was knighted. And uh, this right here says it's probably a portrait of Sir Danny, Sir Anthony Denny, Denny, Sir Anthony Denny. Although some have claimed that it instead represents Henry Howard, Earl of Surrey. <laughs> so Denny's portrait is highly suspect. That's how rare the name Denny is, all right? And that's how common the name Danny is, all right? Denny versus Danny. Danny common. Denny very uncommon. But Tommy Wiseau, being from another planet, okay? Being an extraterrestrial, that's not my theory. But let me tell you, before I made that last video, okay? I didn't do a single bit of research since 2014. Look at this. Tommy Wiseau, star meter is number six. Tommy is the number six star in the world. Why is there an IMDB logo? The, the guy that maintains IMDB.com made a mistake. It's supposed to be right here, not way down here. Check it out. It's supposed to be here, not down here. So whoever runs, I, whoever the webmaster is for IMDB, you know, maybe show some respect for number six. The number six top actor and director in the world. And let's, let's go to twitter.com slash the room to verify that information. Let's, I'm just curious. And I have not been able to show you the Twitter, which is common knowledge now, of the official room Twitter, because it's brand new, all right? So let's take a look. Okay, here's, here's a tweet by some awesome dude. It says, Tommy Wiseau is number six most famous actor director alive right now, according to IMDB. This is legit info, so hopefully verified verifies his Twitter account. Since I made my last video, this account didn't exist. This is the official Tommy Wiseau Twitter account. Follow Tommy. It's brand new. He just made this less than a week ago because my last Tommy video is a week ago. All right. Check it out. It's awesome. There's cool videos like this one. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my Twitter. Have a groovy job. Enjoy your life. Okay. Thank you. Like his tweets, like every single one of them. And if you don't like a single one of his tweets, it's a little disrespectful to the great amazing number six best i don't know who's above tommy but i think he's above tom cruise right now and that's pretty amazing that's pretty phenomenal i forgot to i forgot to like some tweets and i'll tell you why because it's new it's new and some some slipped through the cracks Let's get back to the investigation of how Tommy Wiseau made millions of dollars. Is that one in Tommy, no. He gets to enjoy this. Look at this. He, he gets to see the crowd's reaction to his movie, which happens to be the best movie ever made. I don't want to spoil it for you if you haven't already seen the movie. The Room, get it, get the DVD, Blu-ray, it doesn't stream, you gotta get the Blu-ray. Okay, back to the investigation. So now we figured out how he got to naming Denny, alright? And Denny, and I, I'm gonna see Star Wars tomorrow. I'm gonna see The Last Jedi tomorrow. 
and I'm looking forward to seeing Tommy Wiseau in the movie. If they couldn't slip him in at the last second, I hope he's in the next Star Wars. Please, Disney, get on that. Put him in the next Star Wars. I'm looking forward to Best Friends. I saw a preview, an extended preview, like last year. Maybe it was early this year. And that seems to have been stripped off the internet, because all I see now are super short clips. But I'm still looking forward to it. It's directed by Greg Sestero. It looks funny slash odd, but it looks worth watching. It looks cool. I can't judge it based on a few clips. Hey guys, this is Chummy Wazo. How are you guys doing? Hope you enjoyed the room. And I would like to invite you to a special screening of the room across the country. Hopefully Tommy's screening in LA right now with Q&As. He answers questions. I really want to go. If I had the gas money, I would go there right now, I guarantee, because I think it's this weekend. And then he's doing it in other cities. Uh, you go to the room.movie. It's apparently one of the official websites. Wow, the room.movie. Cool. It's a new website. It's Tommy's official website. There's a Tommy Award. It's amazing. What is this? That is freaking awesome. I thought it was an action figure, but it's like an Oscar. But it's a Tommy, you're tearing me apart, Lisa Award. That's pretty amazing. Back to the investigation, I assure you, I have something groundbreaking I have yet to show you. All right. Denny is a, an enigmatic figure. I have to admit, besides being super enigmatic, Tommy explained something to me that, you know what, I didn't understand. Right there, the white Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm wondering, where did you find Denny, and where is he now? Where did you find Denny, and where is he now? Denny and Dada the Gorofsky, first of all. Denny is on Guerrero Street. <laughs> number second, number one. Number two, he actually is retarded. He <laughs> actually, oh my gosh, I'm not going to say that word. But that clears up some information. That's why Denny jumps in bed with Lisa and Tommy, because he doesn't know any better. And that's why Lisa and Tommy don't mind it, because they know he doesn't know any better. It makes the character extremely... It, it, it... It totally... I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hey, Johnny. What's up? It extremely explains, all right? It, it explains everything about this character. Now, why is it hard to figure out that Denny might be a little bit impaired? Because, not because of the drugs that he got from Chris R., but because the actor playing Denny either didn't know that information or if he heard it from Tommy he kind of rejected it and did his own thing because there's no way shape or form this actor is acting anything other than an intelligent young man uh, he doesn't in any way shape or form seem impaired except when he talks about Lisa perhaps but let's take a listen I think I'm in love with her <laughs> He's talking to Lisa's fiance, and Tommy doesn't obviously have any jealous rage against Denny because Denny's innocent. Go on. I, I know she doesn't <laughs> like me because sometimes she's mean to me, but sometimes when I'm around her, I feel like I want to kiss her and tell her that I love her. I don't know. I'm just confused. Denny, don't worry about that. Lisa loves you too, as a person, as a human being. As a, <laughs> as a human being. <laughs> I took this photograph, screenshot, in 2014. And back in 2014, this is 555 Beach Street on honestbuildings.whatever. But... It showed some interesting information. I also checked out the Wayback Machine. Greg Zestero did register Street Fashions USA, but only because it expired. And he remembers Tommy used to own it. So I think he is holding on to it to help Tommy out. If Tommy ever wants to have it back, he's holding it for him. 
he's keeping it real. It's like a solid. It's like a, you know, it's 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 in his pocket. And uh, if Tommy says something about Greg, and Greg is like, "I'm your best bud," Tommy's like, "Prove it." And Greg is gonna be like, "I got StreetFashionsUSA.com because it expired. I've been hold it on for years for just for you." friend to friend and Tommy's gonna be like whoa you are a true friend thanks Greg and uh, so I think he's I think he's keeping that in his pocket all right so here is this website all right showing 555 Beach Street this is some legitimate PI investigation stuff okay we have the details of 555 Beach Street it's an office building the owner of the address well, I'm not sure what that says let's let's take a look let's take a look the owner of the address happens to be I'm not sure I can read that let's take a look I don't know if it's close enough the owner of the address of 555 Beach Street happens to be a guy named Thomas P Wiseau Revoc TR Tom. I think it's just like a repeat. TR Tom. That Tom is probably just Thomas again. So I never knew his name was Thomas. Thomas P. Y. Zo. So Tommy Y. Zo is his legal name. And it says valuation date 2011. This is ancient history. Remember this. Don't get it twisted. This property is not worth $1.2 million. If you're the victim of an accident, you're entitled to fair and adequate compensation. I'm Larry Parker. Call me at 213-636-5151 or 714-761-1511 or dial 411 for the number nearest you. Larry Parker got me $2.1 million. Larry Parker got me $2.1 million. Sorry, I got a little dyslexic. I thought he said $1.2 million, but he said $2.1 but anyway, 1.2 million was the 2011 evaluation date, which could have been disputed, but there it is. That's the current sales price. If you want to know how Tommy Wiseau made millions of dollars, here's one example, all right? I think Jay-Z can clear it up for you real quick. Let's take a look at Jay-Z's song, The Story of OJ, okay? Let's skip past some of this stuff. Let's take a look how Tommy Wiseau made uh, millions of dollars. I told him, please don't die over the neighborhood that your mama rentin'. Take your drug money and buy the neighborhood. That's how you rinse it. I bought every V12 engine. Wish I could take it back to the beginning. I could have bought a place in Dumbo before it was Dumbo for like two million. That same building today is worth 25 million. Guess how I'm feeling? Dumbo. So Jay-Z breaks it down pretty easily, all right? A building that was worth two million when he was buying a bunch of V12 engine cars and trucks or whatever the case may be, he was spending it on cars and trucks he doesn't even drive anymore. When he could have bought some property, a much better investment. A piece of property that he's familiar with in New York City is worth $25 million right now and he knows that because maybe he wanted to buy it. He's like, how much is that? 25 million? He's like, what? Because the price went up, well, I don't know, $23 million since he was in the hood hustling. That's how Tommy Wiseau made a bunch of money. He took his jacket and jeans and bird toys businesses, invested it in San Francisco properties in the 80s. He sold those properties in the 90s, or maybe he bought some of them in the early 90s, sold them in the late 90s, whatever the case may be. The room funding was all ready to go by 2001. So, uh, yeah. He paid $1.2 million for it, and it's worth an estimated, I would say, easily $3 million. Ooh. Battlefront 2 is ready to play. I had to download it. Not a big deal. I'm going to be playing Battlefront two pretty soon and recording that putting that on my gaming channel youtube.com slash rasmus but this is youtube.com slash hoax hunter trust me i know this video is not the best but tommy wiseau investigation part three might be coming soon really depends 
this is going very long, too long. But 1.2 million dollars, if you've been able to endure through this information, you can see Tommy Wiseau could flip this property and make a profit. It's, I, I estimate it. I estimate this property is worth three million dollars. I originally said five or ten because I don't know anything about property. But someone said this or that, and they're right. Okay? This property is valued at closer to 2.5, but that valuation's pretty old. When you look at the date, that valuation's pretty old. I say this property is an easy three million, maybe four. Let's conservatively say it's worth three. That's a profit of $1.7 million at least. If Tommy bought a bunch of these buildings, let's say Tommy bought this one right here, okay? Let's say Tommy paid $100,000 for this, for this pigsty, all right? He held on to it for 10 years. He bought it in the 80s. He sold it in the 90s, and he made five hundred grand from that. Let's say he did the same thing to this building over here, right here. And you know what? Orchard Hardware Supply really wanted that building. So he flipped it. And our Orchard Hardware Supply has money. So they bought it for millions of dollars from Tommy. Bam! The room was made. But I still find it extremely interesting that uh, Denny's is so close. Denny's is so close! Denny's is right here! Look at the distance! He would just walk here and go to here. It's worth a lot more than 1.2, but that's what he paid for it. 1.2. And to prove, I went to this website, honestbuildings.com, back in 2014. This website doesn't exist anymore. But to verify its legit information, you can type in uh, valuation. It's pretty easy. Yeah. So on the city data website, totally legit. You can go to it right now. You can type it in. Same information, same purchase price. Ooh, 1.1 million back in 2009. So Tommy might have paid as little as 1 million for that property, or 1 million point seventy-seven thousand. The current value, as of 2013, is 2.4. So it jumped from 1.0 zero seven to two point four almost two point five and this is an old estimation it's like five years old property as jay-z taught us goes up in value extremely especially in new york san francisco los angeles seattle major cities all right property values skyrocket i think it's the reason why tycoons that buy and sell property happen to have a lot of money in their bank account. I saw the movie The Disaster Artist. I highly recommend you check it out. I took a photograph. It's playing right now. Check it out. Now playing. Best movie of the year. I heard some criticism. It's not a comedy, okay? It is a biopic. It's Tommy's life. If you love Tommy and you love The Room, you're going to love The Disaster Artist. Check it out. It's an amazing movie for what it is. And wait until the very, 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 very end credits. Wait till the end credits. The scene with Henry versus Tommy Wiseau is phenomenal. And the real Tommy Wiseau may or may not be in that scene. Okay, yes, he is. Check it out. It's awesome. I thank you for watching. Trust me, a more serious, more detailed, analytical, detailed investigation. Independent investigator John Rasmus here. This channel for the people that subscribe and like and leave comments. Amazing content coming soon. This is on the fly, off the top. I'm not even going to edit it. But I'm coming up with a new show. The new show coming this winter. It's going to be awesome. I thank you for watching. This has been John Rasmus. Be seeing you.